everybody, call me Felix, and on this episode of Lolo Lito's Pinoy Kitchen, this is the simplest barbecue recipe, and all you need is just pork belly, pork liver, and salt, and charcoal, to grill over charcoal, and dad claims this is the simplest and the best recipe for pork barbecue, so he claims. So we're going to put him to the test today. And he's going to grill something called Ilo in Ilocano. And I hope I don't butcher it like I usually do. In Sarab Basab. In Sarab Sab. In the... Uh, tinono Light. I always call it Tinono Light. Um, and typically with this preparation, you're supposed to marinate it in soy sauce and vinegar and dress it with onions and tomatoes. Dad says none of that. You don't need that. All you need is a salt rub and charcoal. Grill over charcoal. That's all you need. And he claims that this is the best, the best Tinono Light in Sarabasa. Thank you. There we go. I, I finally, the gift of gab. Oh. Uh, here I go again. Insarabasab that you can ever have. And Insarabasab is what I call Tinono Light. And all it is is it just a very light grilling. And now I get to taste it right off the bat and see if it is good. It's all right, Dad. I mean, it's just not really hitting me on the right notes right now, as it were. All you need is salt, huh? So this Insarabasa is only lightly grilled for probably like what? Between 5 to 10 minutes, Dad? Hmm. And I'm not thoroughly convinced. I mean... So I would say it all depends on how well it's smoked. So the big gamble in making and saying that this is like, you know... Really great simple pork barbecue is that it depends on how the charcoal goes and how you, much of a great char you get. So I think on the flavor, it's a little under seasoned, like I was thinking, Dad. But it all depends on how good of a char you build up. Um, yeah, it could use a bit of soy, Dad. Could use a little bit of vinegar. <laughs> so a couple of bites in. I'm not too impressed at this point. It's texture of the meat is fine. I don't wouldn't mind that. Uh, I still think it all depends on how you master the the grill, right? As far as like fanning the charcoal, make sure you get a good char on everything because you want to taste more of that um, char grilling, right? To bring out more of like that savory character, right? And bring out more of that salt rub, right? The simple salt rub. Now we have here some pork liver. We have here some pork um, belly or limpo. It's just fast grilling is what it is. Over charcoal. I guess, Dad, you have an out on this one because you're... Um, not grilling it yourself, huh? Just instructing. I am gonna grab this piece of fat just because. Okay, the best test, I think. If Dad says, all you need is salt and charcoal. Let's see it with the pork belly and fat, hmm? With the skin on, at the very top. This is one of the better parts, Dad. Finally. Um. You do get some. A good salt flavor throughout. There's a nice little crispness out of that skin too. And the grill. And then there's a little bit of a char grilled flavor, but not enough of that. Um, I still think could use some soy seasoning. But uh, we're going to dress this with tomatoes and onions after all. Just to kind of make it have a little more, um, how shall I say this? A little more impetus, a little more um, well-rounded flavor, hmm? But you definitely taste the quality of the pork, especially with the belly. And I just have to find a liver. 
to kind of complete the test. And kind of got lost in the mixer. I see lots of lean meat. I don't see enough liver. Now you're convinced, huh? No, I'm not convinced yet. So if you didn't marinate your insarabba sab or tinono light, yeah. You can always add ginger later. You can add some tomatoes and onions later to make it taste. So if you missed the part about marinating with soy sauce and vinegar and sugar and blah, you can always add some more seasoning, accoutrements, if you will, at the end. So I kind of see where dad's coming from, that it's simple, like especially with the, the fat and the skin. I think it's still a little under seasoned, but you do get the nice salt rub taste. There's a nice crispness to that skin, like I was saying. The fat feels unctuous. Again, it's the quality of the pork. Um, and there's a nice char grilled flavor that's kind of light. Never, not bitter at all either, but it could use a bit of seasoning, especially when that soy sauce. You grill it, it caramelizes a bit nicely. It gets you that nice umami flavor too. So add some ginger. You dice up some onions in there. And I'm mix this around and put some calamansi too. Okay, taste test after... Uh, a lot of mixing with um, onions, calamansi, and um, some other secret stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that tastes more like you know that I'm used to. Because it has that added zest from the calamansi and that ginger. Kind of accentuates a little bit of the grilled taste and the salt rub as well. I'm going to try the liver again. That liver is a little more firm than I like it. I'm not nearly as creamy. It does definitely have a livery taste. And slightly, slightly irony. Which I don't mind. It's nothing really off-putting. But if you don't really like liver, um, I might not convince you with this one. Let's have one with liver. And then some, that pork belly too. Try that out together. That's a good combination though. Because you've got the pork fat, that's got some nice chew. A little bit of a crispness from the skin. Once again, you taste a little more of that salt. And then you add a little more substance with that liver. And then you can't really think about that irony taste anymore. Once you pair it with that um, pork belly, pork fat, pork meat together. Because it releases more of that salt. And then a light char grilled flavor. So, you know what? We threw this out of the fire as it were. It's all under seasoned of course with just the salt and grilling over charcoal. But, we've salvaged it. Good old calamansi, good old ginger and onion. Blended a little more sweetness, a little more well-rounded flavor. And there you go. A little more zest too. It's a little more interesting now. Okay, so we have more than just Dad's tasteless tinono, as it were. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, this might be the more interesting two dishes. You have some jackfruit ginatan. This is some local snails from the river. Let's take. Like from Let's Sister. Take. Come again? Let's take. Let's take. It sounds like um, Leite, but yeah. it isn't. Um, it isn't named after the province. And of course, Sinigang. <coughs> okay. Selected some food, obviously. But I had to be very careful to leave Dad's to no no alone so we can try it by itself it 
to the final test. Here you go. Now I have to say, if we didn't put the ginger, calamansi, and the onion, I would say dangerously under season. But once you put those accoutrements, it does give, it does boost that salt rub taste. And that's what it needed. And it's really complete with the onion too, because of course you need some crunch in there. And a bit of zest. Okay. The next thing. This is some young jackfruit with pork in some coconut milk, which is called Ginataan Lanka. This is young jackfruit, so this on itself will it will be have like the texture and taste of like pulled pork and not sweet at all. And we've got to get some of that chili too. And there we go. Right off the bat, you get that coconut milk washiness. And it complements well with that pork, with a bit of the chili, um, that jackfruit as well, which takes on a pulled pork kind of texture too. It's like pork, bamboo shoots, chili, and coconut milk. So I mean, that's what the jackfruit kind of takes up. It's like bamboo shoots. Okay. I'm trying these snails. Basically, you just suck the ends of them. Because these are river snails, they don't have any, like, real saline sort of taste. Um, Dad says that the ch sweet chilies here are a bit spicy, which I like. Oh, yeah. That has a hint of spice. And I think it complements well with the tinono. Okay, time to take a break and have some soup. Lots of beef chunks and beef fat, but especially generous with the beef fat. Look at all the gelatin that's in there. Okay, I think my work's done here today. Um, so, that's tasteless Sinono, once again. It's given some good taste. It almost tastes like a Kilowin sort of thing going on for it, which I really like. Um, if you put some Sealing Labuyo, even better. I like the jackfruit the most here. The snails are good. The peanut bite time is awesome as well. It's very gelatinous. And the fish sinigang top draw as well. So there you go. So dad, he loses the bet. He doesn't like the Lolo Lito moniker for a couple of reasons. One, because it makes him look sound really old, even though he's ancient. And two, I haven't made him a grandfather. So, eh. I mean, I'm mentally unfit to actually be with anyone. So, I mean, you know, that's just the truth. And so instead of his preferred nickname of Afgang Puck, he will always be known as Lolo Lito in Lolo Lito's Pinoy Kitchen. Yes. And that's my work done for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And better yet, share and subscribe the video to the channel because we have a lot of food, travel, and everything else in between and out there. Signing off for now, Empire Never Ended.